Well, that was unexpected. The team that have hardly conceded a goal this season, a team that has hardly scored this season, took place in a 3-2 thriller this afternoon. Full-time score, Norwich City 2, Preston North End 3. What a result. What a game. And, well, let me just talk you through the timeline. Norwich City score in the opening minute. I think it's going to be a long, long day. And we're going to lose like 6-0. And then we, we we come back, Emil Reese with the equaliser, and you know at half time, all square, one one. I feel like it's uh, it was a bit of a weird one because normally we only we only concede like a maximum of one goal per game if we are going to concede and then score. As I said, we've we've hardly scored, so it, it was like that was going to be it. It would just tail off for a one one draw. If we're going to be unlucky, we're going to lose two one. But then, but then we came back and we scored a second goal and we we took the took the lead, two one. Norwich came back, made it two two. Then we come back again uh, and and then end up winning it three two. And well, yeah, as I said, it was unexpected for the scoreline. But I did say in my match preview, we it's just us to go to a team that's not lost in their last nine games. By the way, not lost at home so far this season we have now um, and, and, and to us as well maybe a little bit embarrassing for them but I told you that's just a certain you know thing in us that we can just do to top top teams and we did it to Norwich today and uh, yeah really good result today and every player on that pitch superb performance today that was amazing massive improvement from from the, the if we take the start of the season to now that's two wins on the bounce now and yeah we, we pressed the ball in, in, in really good areas we, we we attacked a team that are basically top of the league and I, I was thinking to myself whilst watching the game that why have we suddenly started to play the best football all season against top of the table why couldn't we do that to like Birmingham or Rotherham uh, but you know it we got the result in the end and hopefully we can go into our next game which is Bristol City away who you know are on a bit of struggling form they, they lost like 3-0 to Birmingham today I think the um, only uh, I know it was Norwich City and it was going to it was going to be tough and we were going to concede goals that, that, that we were going to concede it was pretty much a given but the only thing I, what I'm a little bit concerned about is we're stuck in between the two of whether to sit back or go and press press them, and that leaves us in the middle, which means we go up to them a little bit, but not fully, which means they've got time to pass around us, and that is a little bit of a concern. I feel like that the teams can can break us down now. We either stay solid and sat back, which I don't particularly want. I want to play attacking football. We can go to them. As I said, it was a bit 50-50 today, but we were against Norwich, who are a top top side. They, they passed the ball around very well. But you know, our, our defence stayed strong a lot of the time, and we ended up getting all three points for it. And you know, it, it would have been very frustrating if we had scored three goals and ended up getting only a point out of it, because scoring three goals in a championship game is pretty much a given all three points. Uh, we did that today. Very very nervy finish, uh, but but we got there in the end. Uh, yeah, as I said, the full team performance, brilliant today. Freddie Woodman, yes, he, he let two goals in. Nothing really much he could have done about it. He made some excellent saves, um, made great saves with his hands, great saves with his with his feet. Um, and uh, also, he, he he's just recovered from a sickness bug. The, the game, the, 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 the night before this night, and there was about five players there that had just recovered from this illness. And it's like... Number one, they shouldn't have been playing. But number two, to put in that performance against top of the table um, and, and pick up a result as well, absolutely fantastic. So I'll give Freddie Woodman an 8 out of 10 for my player ratings for him. Uh, as I said, yeah, nothing really much he could have done about the, the, the other two goals, but superb performance by him. The defence, yeah, was a bit shaky at times, but we got there in the end. Uh, I'll probably give Jordan Story was definitely the best out of the three centre backs, so I'll give him a 7.5, and then I'll give Liam Lindsay and Greg Cunningham a seven. Wing backs, Alan Brown put in a, 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 a really good performance today. There's been a bit of question marks over him over his performances. Really good performance today. 
I'll give him I'll give him a seven point five as well. And then our, our other wing back Alvaro Fernandez, absolutely excellent today. Uh, pace, he's got that just super long legs that really help him just pushing forward, attacking, even defending as well. Because I know some, uh, I think I think there were some Man United fans that said that. He's a good wing back, but he doesn't know how to defend, and he just focuses on on attacking more. But excellent defensively and attackingly, I'll, I'll give him an eight point five. Really good performance by him today. Uh, midfield: Benjamin Whiteman and Ali McCann. I'll give them both a seven point five. You know, re re really, really good. And then, um, and then, we'll, then Robbie Brady did 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 have to, to to come off think he picked up a little bit of an injury hopefully it's not for too long uh, we all know Robbie Brady and his, his past history with injuries but uh, Ben Woodburn came on did really well as a substitute um, I'll give I'll just throw out another 7.5 to him there and then our two strikers now Maguire started he did come off at half time I'm not sure if he's been one of the one that uh, that has been affected by the bug and did have to come off at half time but Emil Reese, the other striker two goals uh, that the first two scored and well re really good um, yeah goal side he's there I still think he's a little like I, I feel like Norwich's second goal could have been stopped if he I I'm not sure how tired he was but if he put maybe a little bit more effort in to try and to try and get to the ball before the Norwich man and then we could have we could have stopped the second goal that Norwich did score, but I'll give him an eight point five two goals. You know, you, you can't really you can't really complain about that. And then Troy Parrott did come on for Maguire in the second half, and his goal was the winning goal. Not scored in the league yet. He did score a goal in the Carabao Cup against Huddersfield Town, but he got one tonight, and the winning goal. Um, yeah, really good. Um, I'm not really sure if I should you can give him a player. Yeah, I suppose I can. He was playing for half of the game. He puts in a really good shift. It's just up to the point where he has to finish. I mean, he did a really good finish for the winning goal, as I said. But I'll, I'll, I'll give him maybe an 8, 7.5. 8 maybe a bit too much. But, you know, the winning goal, you know, everyone's buzzing about it. So, you know, who cares? Um, and there we go. Daniel Johnson did, did come on to replace um, Parrott again, who, who, who did pick up an injury. And, um, yeah, just... Mainly just the full team defended toward, towards the end. Andrew Hughes came on for, for Cunningham as well, uh, one of the other substitutions. But, the, yeah, that, that, that should wrap it up for, for my match preview and player ratings. On to Bristol City next, as I did mention, who have been struggling. Uh, still a tough place to go, but, you know, hopefully we can build on momentum now. Back-to-back -back wins, we've scored goals. We also did concede them, but it was to Norwich, so we'll see what happens with Bristol and yeah, just on to that game. Let's go.